Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today, we are going to see how you can use configuration in .NET MAUI applications. Now, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplaytube.pdicostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. So let's continue. If we go to Visual Studio, you will see that in here I have an app settings file, right? App settings.json file, and I have the app settings.development.json file, right? If you have been working with .NET Core, you know that app settings.json is one of the most common ways in which you can use file-based configuration in .NET Core applications. Now, if you come from um, Xamarin, you probably have seen that most of the time, um, developers tend to have the configuration as constants in the code. Some actually use file-based configuration too, right? But the most common approach is actually using constants and hard code a lot of that information inside the CS classes. Personally, I do not like that approach and I still prefer to use app settings.json. However, by default, the app settings.json is not supported at least at the time of the Maui RC uh, release candidates, right? I don't know if they will actually add that in the official release like supported by default but anyway it's not really difficult to add it it's fairly straightforward very very easy okay so once you have your app settings.json file one of the things that you want to do is you want to set that file as an embedded resource. If you have the app settings.development.json file, you have to do the same for that and for all of the other uh, environment specific files, you will need to do the same. Set the build action to the embedded resource. Okay. Once you have that set as an embedded resource in your MAUI program, one of the things that you can do is you create a string variable and you initialize it to empty. This string variable is going to have the location or the name of your embedded resource, which is usually going to be the qualified name for the file. Uh, if you follow the, if you don't change namespace nor anything else, the default qualified name for that will be the project name dot the file name right? That would be it. Uh, if you modify the namespaces and all of that, it will be probably the full namespace dot file name. Well, these ones are actually folder based, so it will probably be the assembly name, right? Which usually is your the same as your project, only you change it, right? It's probably going to be your assembly. Assembly name dot the file name. Okay. Now in here we ask if we are on the bug, we set 
the variable to the debug one, to the devel development one. Otherwise, we set it to the production one. Once you have that value set, you will see that down here we are getting an assembly. The information of the assembly we are located in, or the information of the assembly where that app settings file is located in. So we do it by using introspection extensions dot get type info and we pass the type of a class where that file is located. So in this case, now we program, which is the same class we have in here. Once we have that, we will get a type and a type info, and from that we can get the assembly. Once we have the assembly, we can get a resource by using the name that we specified earlier in the code. So you see assembly.get manifest resource stream and we get a stream object referencing the file. Then what we can do is builder.configuration add JSON stream and we pass the stream and this line will effectively cause that the configuration will also be reading from the JSON file. So our instances of I configuration or everything we get through uh, the service provider by dependency injection will have access to what we have in that um, in those files. So for example, in that file, I have something named builder.configuration API base URL, right? So if I didn't, if I haven't done this, this piece of the code will fail, right? But since I already added earlier in the code to the uh, configuration, this will actually retrieve the value in that file. Thank you very much. I hope this video has been very useful for you. Remember, visit fairplaytube.pdacostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Have a great day.